Okay, so let's uh, talk about a little bit different function. So, fx equal to 2x plus 3 and 4x plus 1. The condition is x is less than 0 and x is greater than or equal to 0 for this function. Okay. So this type of function we are we are calling piecewise function, and then in this case you need to follow um, x interval condition here. So as you see, you have two conditions: x is less than zero, x is bigger than or equal to zero. Based on number line, you analyze it. So on the number line, zero, one, two. 3 and negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 like that so any value is belong to 0 or bigger than 0 you're following this direction that will follow this function basically and then any function I mean any x value below 0 they follow this function okay so the first question f 0 then you need to analyze where this 0 is belongs belongs to is 0 belongs to this interval or this interval obviously 0 is equal to 0 therefore you are following this condition which means you don't have to worry about this function and plug 0 into only this function here so f0 is 4 times 0 plus 1 equal to 1. Now, next one, f negative 2. Okay, now, negative 2 is negative 2 where this value is belongs to. This condition or this condition. Definitely first one because negative 2 is smaller than 0 which means you are using this function so in this case 2 times negative 2 plus 3 equal to negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1 okay what about f3 then as you see 3 is bigger than 0 so you are following this one also, this equation. So it becomes 4 times 3 plus 1 equal to 12 plus 1 equal to 13. Okay? Then, look at one more uh, example which has more condition among based on x intervals. So such as fx equal to absolute x plus 4 minus 2 and 3x minus 6 and 8 the condition is this one x is less than 4 this one x is between 4 and 5 last one x is bigger than or equal to 5 basically okay so now, as you see, we have three different conditions here, which means any x value is below 4 using this function. If x is between 4 and 5, 4 is inclusive, then you are using this function. And x is bigger than or equal to 5, then using this function, basically. Okay. And first one, f negative 1. As you know, negative 1 is smaller than 4, so using this function. So, absolute negative 1 plus 4 minus 2, which means 3 minus 2 equal to 3 minus 2. So, it becomes 1. Okay? Now, what about F7? F7 means bigger than 5, so using this function 
and in this case this no x exists which means no matter what x is answer is always a so it's just become eight what about f 4.5 so 4.5 is belongs belongs to this interval so you you are using this equation so three times 4.5 minus 6 so it becomes 13.5 minus 6 which means 7.5 that will be the answer for this problem okay